Hey artists, I'm gonna show you how to do a basic paper weaving. So yours is gonna turn out something sort of like this. Now in class, you had these materials available for you. You have a black piece of paper and some little strips. If you did this at home or did this in class, feel free to grab the paper from school. If you're doing this at home to make it up, you can use any sort of paper you have available. It can be white for your base. It could be old scrapbook paper, construction paper, anything you want you can use for your practice one. So it's okay if you don't have these specific colors if you're working from home. But we're just doing a small little practice. Notice it's a little bit smaller than the size of my hand. Nothing too crazy. First thing we want to do is we want to create our loom. So we're gonna take our piece of paper and we are going to fold it in half. Now my paper here is a square, so it does not matter which way I folded it. All right, folding in half. Now, I am putting the folded side facing down towards me, open side at the top. Now I'm gonna to take my pencil, I'm using a white colored pencil just so you can see it. You could use a regular pencil. And I'm going to draw a line across the top of my paper. We're going about a centimeter down from the top. Pull it up closer so you can see, see? Little line, it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. You can use a ruler if you're doing on bigger paper. This is gonna be our stop line. We're gonna make sure we don't go past this line. Now, in order to create our loom, we have to not just have our end piece, but also the weft or warp pieces. So those are the up and down ones. So I'm gonna draw a series of lines from the folded edge straight up, and I'm gonna stop at that line. Now, how big these are is up to you. You wanna get a decent number of your practice. You could have some thin, some thick, they could all be the same. It's totally up to you for this practice. You gotta decide what it's going to be. I like to draw them out first, just so I have lines to follow. You could just cut straight with your scissors. So, now when we cut. So again, make sure folded edge is on the bottom. We wanna cut up the fold, opening should be at the top. And we're gonna cut up these lines and stop at that line that we drew first. Cut each one of these. It's okay if you don't follow your lines exactly. This could be the backside. It does not matter. Make sure your folded piece stays folded as you're cutting. Make sure the edges don't slide apart or else you're gonna get kind of wonky cuts. There we go. So I cut each one and when you open it, it should look like this. So it'll have attached on the top, attached on the bottom and slits all the way down. So this is our loom. So it's the piece that holds it together as well as our warp pieces. So the warps are up and down. Now you're gonna to wanna to cut some strips of color paper or whatever other paper you have. And these are gonna be woven in to be our horizontal pieces, our weft strips, because weft goes left and right. So when we weave, you wanna take your first piece. Weaving, the basic term is over, under, over, under. So I'm gonna go over this first one. I'll lift up the second one, I'll go under it. Over the third, under the fourth. You see how I'm going kind of every other? So we're creating this pattern of every other piece over and over until you get all the way across. And you wanna slide it down all the way to the bottom. Now I like to have my weft pieces, these color pieces, a little bit longer. It makes it easier when weaving and we'll trim them off at the end, so it's fine. Now for your next row, you want to do opposite. So if I wove this the same way, starting over, under, over, under, if I weave it the same way as the first row, what's gonna happen is when you go to slide it down, it's going to slide on top or behind. So this does not work. We have to do opposite of the row before it. So if I started with over, that means for my second row, I'm gonna start with under. And then where the one before went under, now I go over. So always doing opposite of the row before it. And I work my way across. And as I slide it down, it's going to lock into place. It will not cover each other up. Notice it's starting to create this checkerboard design. This is what we are looking for. And you continue this process all the way up, always going opposite of the row before it. So row three, if I went under before it, I'm gonna go over this time. Okay. I tend to lift mine up in the air and just kind of go for it. Over, under, over, under, over, under. Once you've done this a bunch, 
it'll start being easier and easier. There we go, slide it down, checkerboard pattern, perfect. And you keep going over and over. You can do all one color, you can do multiple colors. It's totally up to you for this practice. Remember, weaving is all about patterns. So for this, we're looking for that checkerboard pattern, that opposite design. Okay, and you just keep going until you fill the entire thing. So I'm gonna get through that real fast. Now, once you've filled it up all the way, I like to make sure they're all slid down as well as I can. So I'm gonna hold my loom and I'm gonna just take my fingers and try to slide down the pieces, making sure they're as tight with each other as possible. This will help make that extra space if I need to. Yep, now I can fit a whole extra row up here. So you want to always be squeezing them down tight, especially when it gets right up to the top. So that way you fill the entire loom. Now at this point, if you have any extra left, like if I lift mine up, you see how there's a little bit of space up here at the top. I have two options. I could take another little strip and just cut it so it was super thin to fit in that space. Or if it's really small, you can just kind of spread them out a little bit. If it's a big space, I recommend trimming one of these down, maybe just cutting sort of this way with it to make it thinner. But mine's all full. So once it's all full, you have some options. Before I show you how to finish it and glue it down, I wanna show you some extra little tricks you could do. You could end up doing something like this. We call this kind of a double weave. So it looks really complex right now, almost like a uh, plaid shirt, but this is actually a really simple tweak on what we've already done. Here's all that you gotta do. If you want to do a double weave, you're gonna take a color, whatever color you want it to be, whether it's the same colors, different colors, and I'm going to cut it in half long way, so it's a thin piece. Try your best to keep a nice straight line with it. There you go. Now what we do is we are going to go with one of the colors. So like if I go with this pink, I'm going to have it weave with it. So I'm just kind of pushing it along and it's gonna follow the same path. And it actually follows pretty easily. I just gotta make sure it doesn't go on top where it shouldn't. Make sure it goes under and it's following that same design. You can see how now it lays on top of it and it creates that extra little double. I advise whatever you do to one side, do the other. Remember, it's all about patterns. Pattern is about repetition. So I'm just gonna slide this one under. Now this is a great little trick. It looks really complex, but it's actually really simple and it makes your piece look a little bit more polished. Now. Not only can we do pieces like this, but I could also, let me cut another little strip. I'll show you a different way. You could do this double weave on the warp strips as well. So those are the black ones in my design. So I could actually go up instead. Maybe I'm gonna put mine, I like to kind of stop and arrange it first. Okay, maybe I'll go there and there. So with these, I'm gonna go just with the black. A little bit harder at first, I have to pick it up but I'm just gonna slide it in and follow that vertical black warp strip. Let's see how it's just sliding in there. So I can have these double weaves on here as well. This one will go under first. So you see how that can create just a slightly more complex design. You could do it on a lot of your sections. Like this one, I did a double all the way up and two on each side there. It could be a great little trick to get those. Once you like your entire design, then we gotta glue it all down. So you're gonna want a glue stick for this. 
we want to make sure that these do not fall apart. If I lifted it up and shook it around, they should not fall apart. If I did that with this, I could have these pieces fly out. And I don't want that. So I'm going to take my glue stick. And you are going to work your way around that outer edge. And you're going to lift up a piece, put a little bit of glue, press it down. Next one that goes on top. Lift up the piece, a little bit of glue, press it down, turn. Here, I like to put the glue on my little strips, not on my original loom, it tends to work better. If you have a double, you need to glue that double together. So I'm gonna glue this red one onto the pink and then the pink onto the black. And I work my way around the entire thing, gluing every single piece that's sticking up Press it when I get in the right spot. And once I've worked my way around the entire thing, then I flip the whole design over and all these ones that are on top, I'll glue these down. So a little bit of glue and you just work your way around. I like to put glue and press and hold it for maybe five seconds to help just make sure that glue is really set. Once every single one is glued down, then all you gotta do is just trim off your extra. So I'll just take my scissors and I'll just follow along that edge of my original loom, that black piece of paper, and that cleans it up nice and pretty. So I'm gonna finish gluing, and there you go, guys. There is your finished piece. Here are some student examples so you can see how people in class has turned out. This one, got some doubles, great, some patterns of colors. Remember, if you're doing this at home, you're gonna to want to bring this into school to turn it in in person. Please make sure you don't forget that. Can't wait to see how yours turns out.